In this example, we need to solve the equation x squared plus 81 equals 0. Well, what type of equation do we have here? Notice the highest exponent on any of the x's is a 2, so it's a quadratic equation. And what's the first method we normally try to use to solve a quadratic equation? It's factoring. Well, will my example factor? Notice there are only two terms. The first term's a square. The second term's a square. But is it the difference of two squares? No, this is the sum of two squares. The difference of two squares factors. But the sum of two squares does not factor over the integers. So we cannot solve this type of problem by factoring. We could use the quadratic formula, but on problems that look like this, there is a different method that works a lot quicker. So let me show you on the next slide. The method I'm talking about is using the square root property. This method can be used only if the equation can be written in the form of u squared equals d where u is an algebraic expression and d is a non-zero real number. If we can get our problem to look like this, then we can use the square root property. So in problems like the one we have to deal with, the first thing you do is you want to isolate the squared expression on one side of the equation and the number on the other side. So it will look like this. And once that is done, we then want to take the square roots of both sides. So when I take the square root of u squared and the square root of d, I land up with u equals plus or minus the square root of d. Don't forget, there are two solutions you must put in this plus or minus in your answer. So now let's go back to our problem. Do I have the squared term all by itself? No, the first thing I'm going to have to do is subtract 81 from both sides of the equation. And when I do that, I get x squared equals 0 minus 81 is negative 81. Now I have the squared term on one side, my number on the other. So now I'm going to take the square root of both sides don't forget, you must put plus or minus in front of the square root of the number. And so the square root of x squared is x. So I get x equals plus or minus. Well, the square root of a negative number, remember the first thing you do is pull out the square root of negative 1 is i. So I get plus or minus i, the square root of 81. And now, can you simplify the square root of 81? Well, 81 is a perfect square. It's 9 squared, so this is going to give me x equals plus or minus 9i. So there are my two solutions to this quadratic equation. In some cases, you're asked that you can write them out together like this. But if you need to write them separately, you'd write x equals 9i is one of the solutions, and x equals negative 9i is the second solution.